When we last left Jill, she was test driving the restore features of the Canadian-based background backup service. Jill is the office manager for a small publishing company who was put in charge of backups for her entire office. Jill was looking for a backup solution that would allow her to manage both Macs and PCs and provide protection for some of the mobile employees who use their own laptops. Jill wanted to make sure the solution was sophisticated enough to handle the needs of her office, but simple enough for her staff to view backup reports and handle file restore features on their own. For the last few weeks, Jill has been evaluating Background Backup, a Canadian-based backup service, using the powerful Crash Plan engine and managed by Iron Gate Server Management and Consulting. When we last left Jill, she had just finished testing the restore features of the backup service. Satisfied so far, Jill has gone ahead and installed Background Backup on all 13 workstations at Publishing Inc. Jill is about to log in to the Background Backup web interface and check on the status of her new installs. From the home screen, Jill can verify that all workstations are connected to the background backup servers and have started backing up. Jill decides to take a look at some of the organization settings available to her and her team. Jill clicks Edit Organization and begins to review some of these settings. From this screen, Jill is able to set disk quotas, change alert thresholds for backups, decide who in the organization receives alerts and reports, and decide how frequently reports are emailed out. Jill decides to add her boss Randy to the contact list for reports and alerts and change the report frequency to daily, at least while everyone is still learning about their new backups. Next, Jill takes a look at the default client settings. Here, Jill can decide to include or exclude certain file types or directories for all users in the organization. On the inclusion side, Jill's office has been using a folder called Publishing Shared on each workstation to store their work documents. She adds the location to this folder for both Mac and PC. Jill also knows that many of the office employees keep music on their computers for listening at their desks. Since none of the employees use the .mp3 file extension for work-related audio files, she decides to exclude all mp3s from the backups. From here, Jill can also set the default time background backup will run for the entire office, change settings for alerts and email reports, require a password to access the desktop application, and other miscellaneous settings. If Jill needs more information about any of these settings, she can visit backgroundbackup.ca slash support or contact the Background Backup support team through either phone or email. Jill is interested in creating a few default settings, but would like to have different sets of rules for different office groups, such as management versus non-management staff, employees using desktops versus employees using mobile, or Mac versus PC. Jill decides that she'll divide the office into laptops and desktops and manage settings for each group separately. She starts by selecting Add Child Organization in the left side menu. Inside the child organization, Jill is able to select a name for the group and make changes to the backup quota. Next, Jill switches over to the default client settings where she's interested in limiting the sending rate for backups. Because most of the mobile users are working on low-speed internet connections and often use software like Skype to communicate while on the road, network speed becomes more important. Jill decides to limit the sending rate to ensure internet-based services perform properly when her staff is on the road. Satisfied with her changes, Jill selects Save and then returns to her home screen. While making changes to other members of her organization, Jill is interested in how changes made with the web interface are reflected in the client application. Jill decides to launch Background Backup on her computer and test drive changing a few settings. Jill wants to see how adding another backup directory from the web interface is reflected in the client application. Jill starts by selecting the Scan Client Folders in Settings and watches the command reflect on the Background Backup application on her computer. Jill decides to add another directory to the backup, which results in an immediate change to the client application. Finally, Jill wants to see the effect of locking the changes made to settings on the client's machine. Jill checks off the lock for all of the general preferences and sees these settings become read-only on the client application. Enjoying enough work group management for one day, Jill determines that she's satisfied and decides to turn her attention to her final recommendations to the company's CEO, Randy. Still at her desk, 
Jill decides to sit down with pen and paper and begin to list out some of the features of background backup that she believes will benefit Publishing Inc. In video one, Jill remembers the installation process for background backup, noting how the software is available for each of the platforms the company uses and how quickly and easily she was able to install the software and start the first backup. She also recalls the availability of free live support from the Canadian support team at Background Backup if she ran into any issues. In video number two, Jill recounts how user-friendly and understandable the backup alerts and reports were she received in her email. She also liked how she was able to access the same information and additional details through the secure SSL protected web interface. In video number three, Jill recounts how she was able to access a file at home that she was working on right up to the end of the day due to both the real-time continuous backup feature and the off-site restore feature available for authorized users. She also remembers how she was able to choose from multiple versions of a file to restore, including selecting to restore a file from a specific date on the calendar. Finally, with the ability to restore files over her office network instead of the internet, Jill was able to restore a large video file in only a few minutes. Today, Jill had a chance to spend some time with Background Backup's work group management features. She was impressed by the customization options that were available to her, either through the web or through the client application. She was able to separate her staff into work groups and set default settings for each work group or even individual employees who needed specific customization. She also had the chance to see how settings changed through the web interface were immediately pushed to the client applications. After having some time to reflect, Jill is confident that she can recommend background backup to her boss. Just in case her boss has any questions, she writes down the toll-free number for background backup and gathers her notes to head into Randy's office.